My name is You're not! You're not! Mm-hmm. My name is Balin. I suffer with Tourette syndrome. I started showing myself on TikTok having Tourette's because other people were making me feel ashamed of who I was. When I went to go see my first neurologist, I was doing everything from hitting my foot off my head to throwing things to kicking. He pointed at me when my mom was crying and he goes, look at her, she can't work, Oof! she can't drive, she can't go to school, she can't do anything. It was very disheartening and heartbreaking. Even though my doctor said that to me, I got a job it was really stressful. I actually had someone come in the store and refuse service from me because they didn't want to catch my condition. I actually had a mental breakdown at work one day because no one else is helping me, no one's sticking up for me. I'm just left up here with hundreds of people who just are making fun of me. Then I was in a store one day and a girl took videos of me. I left the store that day in tears and I was like, where are those videos going? Yeah. I decided it was time for me to take my power yeah. back and not let people take advantage of who I am. <laughs> this is a disability and it's not a joke. <laughs> people have accused me of faking Tourette's, but I've never heard one person say they want to live this way. I'm 19 years old and I can't go to concerts. I wasn't able to go to my senior prom. I can't go out to dinner. I can't drive. But I have an amazing boyfriend. I'm living with my best friend next, next year. I'm in college and I still plan on becoming a nurse. Just because I have Tourette's does not mean that I have to be trapped and kept away from society. <gasps> Oof! Well, Balin, it's good to meet you. It's good to meet you too, hi. So, you're bald. How do you feel about being here today? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to show people how I live and that it's real. I live like this every day. F you. Um, and I'm, I'm here to spread awareness about what I deal with. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited. What made the decision, what helped you make the decision to go public with what you live with every day? I was tired of hiding who I was. It's time to show people the, the real me, who I am. Yeah. Do you still worry when you go out in public, like now, for example, that, people, go. that people judge you? Yeah. What do you think people think? Um, that I'm crazy. Um, yeah. Are you? I, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> has anybody well, ever, sometimes. Has, <laughs> yeah. has anybody ever asked you that straight up? They, they've they told me before that you'd be a lot prettier if you weren't crazy. Oh, you're yeah. bald. Sorry. <laughs> but you, you say I'm bald? Yeah. I'm yeah I noticed that last week, actually. <laughs> she tells me every day. Yeah, yeah you're every bald, day. you're bald, you're bald, you're bald. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What is the most empowering thing about being on the internet and putting this out there for people to see? What's the most empowering thing about that? The comments I get, how much help it's reached other people. I get comments from people that are like, if I have my son or daughter come home with their boyfriend or girlfriend, how would I act towards them? And mm -hmm. I explain to them how they would act, just pretend like it's not there. I also get comments that tell me um, how inspirational I am and how they figured out that their kids have started to have ticks. Dino Williams. Have you had any second thoughts about going public? Actually, when I first posted my first video, I didn't expect it to blow up and it kind of made me a little bit nervous because all of the comments were negative, mm -hmm. every single one of them. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, they were all, you're faking it, um, you're doing it for clout. Your parents just want money. Ugh. So it's just comments like that. And it was really, it was really heartbreaking because I live with this every day. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. You're bald. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.